Reloading new mag. I am death. Death mark tracker out. I see you. Tube around. I'll find you and end you. There you are. What's up guys, today we're doing an operator guide on Deimos for Operation Deadly Omen. We're talking all about Deimos, how to play as Deimos, use his ability, and rank up and win more matches while playing Deimos. First, let's get to his loadout. So you have the AK-7M, only with the 1X, flash adder, suppressor, and a laser. I mean, you can run the laser if you want, 10% increase ADS speed. I might run that. Uh, this is what I would normally run on the AK. It's a solid gun, but obviously it's not the best in terms of firepower. Then you have the M59, AKA smoke shotgun. Ryan went running with iron sights, makes your ADS speed 10% faster versus the 5% increase on with just a normal sight. Iron sights work well with this shotgun and there's no reason to not run the laser on the shotgun. So that's how to run that. Between these two, honestly, it depends on how you plan on playing. If you want to get up close and personal, run the shotgun. If you want additional firepower, you know, bring the AK. As his revolver is the main story of Deimos. His revolver has barely any recoil, which we'll show in some clips coming up. It is a really good gun, and when you're, his ability is active, which you're gonna be using his ability quite a bit, you can only use the revolver anyways. I like the laser because I want to be able to just ADS it faster. I mean, look at that recoil, it's like barely, barely anything. Then you have the option between grenades, which I like if I'm running around, like, you know, trying to roam clear. Or Harbor Charge, which actually is a good option if you are roam clearing and you happen to get out, like, you know, clear the vert, you can actually open hatches. So, definitely a good option. All right, now let's go through the death mark. So right now I have Malusi tracked right here, as you can see. So I see the Malusi indicated by the marker. So Malusi is going to get a tag on me, which we'll show in a, in a clip further on of what that looks like. But right now I have a constant ping like a Kavera interrogation. I can see him exactly where he's moving. So I know he's behind that half wall. I throw a grenade to dislodge him. He has to vault because, you know, there's a grenade there now. So he vaults over and we see him swing over and look at the, look at this revolver really quick. We'll just look at this thing. This thing is insane. And that fast reload speed. One of the things I like most about Deimos, I mean, one is revolver can pop hatches in like two to three shots, my God. If you can get above or below an enemy and they can't really maneuver around too well, that they have to stay in that room, I mean, you can just pepper them through the floor. Yeah, they're gonna get marks on you, but they're not gonna be nearly as accurate. We're gonna show you guys what the marks look like from the defender's POV in a short little bit. But following him from above, I'm just peppering the dock. I mean, we, we know it's not because we are marking him. We're just peppering the dock from above. He's having to run. Shots go right through the floor because of how strong it is. And I believe right here, we, we do down with that shot, just as the death mark ends. So you can see here, you can only ever mark someone that is actually spotted. So that is one thing to keep in mind. So I can't mark this guy because it is an unknown operator, but these three, easily. We down the dock and we finish him off with the revolver. It has 60 shots, it shoots really fast, it has a quick reload speed, there's, there's no reason to hold back. Let's go nuts. So now here's what it looks like from a defender's POV. I'm playing as Legion. I'm getting spotted as by Deimos. You can clearly see it. I see where he's at, but look at look at the ping difference. So see how fast that just moved? It's giving me a mark on Deimos probably once every second. So he has a constant ping on you, but you can kind of tell where he's at, but it's not nearly as accurate. So you are able to defend yourself, but like, I don't even know he's shooting at me through that wall prior to him shooting, because like, look where he's at, top metal. And he's shooting at me through the wall as he gets spotted. I try to shoot back. He is reloading. One thing to keep in mind that you are not invincible as Deimos. You are not invincible. They are able to defend themselves. So you do need to be careful that they, they do, they can see you. So don't just like hover in one spot, stay fluid, move around a bit because those pings are going to be delayed as hell. And as a defender, you know, you're going to shoot at the red mark. It's just what you're going to do. When it comes to roam clearing, there's not that many operators in the game other than maybe Jackal that are as good as clearing out a roamer as Deimos. Here I'm chasing a maestro around the map. We'll just look at this man just run for his life. He can see where I'm going and he's just trying to avoid me. It's actually pretty fucking hilarious. 
He runs away. I run back up the staircase so I know that he's gonna go to China now. Or Memo. Revolver. This revolver is so damn good. You're gonna hear a lot of people complain that the revolver is too strong. But honestly, it's just, it's a really good weapon. And honestly, can be considered almost his primary. So that begs the question, why Deimos over any other operator? Well, Deimos is a very, very strong entry. Like, clearly down the man with that. I was docked. That was a three armor. Takes him out just like that. At the time, I don't even bother even trying to use the primary because the secondary is so damn good. There's smoke peeking me. I down him instantly. And then he pops up like a fish, which is crazy. Rosie down the hallway. And just like that, Mozzie swinging with a Roni, bro, with an ACOG. Look at this guy. Just... So fast, you can empty that mag out so quick. And like, if I ever do it at ammo, I can go around the corner really quick, pull my primary and just start pre-firing out. You find him there. This is a Deimos ace clip, by the way. So now I start spotting out the yellow. I have no idea where he is. I suspect he's probably behind me. I see him coming up the staircase right here. He's coming all the way up. He hits a mute jammer. Mute jammers will stop the scan. So here's how Deimos can be countered. You, If Vigil's getting tracked, Vigil can stop it from tracking him completely. If if you're activating the death mark and someone's on top of a mute jammer, it will cancel the death mark and you're gonna waste a charge. But if if your death mark activates on the enemy, it's on them and it will start pinging. But if they walk over a mute jammer, your ping won't show until they walk off the mute jammer, which will go the entire duration. So if they stand on top of the mute jammer after they get death marked, they won't get spotted, but you kind of can guesstimate where the guy probably is based on where he just was. So here I see the yellow start to swing. I know the swing's coming and I just body shots. This gun does 78 damage. When I know I'm shooting at a three speed, I mean, I'm tracking Nella. I know she's a one armor. I'm going for body shots. This thing is going to kill in almost instantly. Now we're in that 1v1. I love to, I love this out, bruh. So now it's a 2v1. Guy's clearing the vault. We can see him clear as day. He runs out, tries to do something crazy. It just does not work. When you are death marked, you have to be very gun up, very aggressive, and you got to swing out while pre-fine because Deimos has a lock on you. You're not going to be able to just outmaneuver him. He can see you with perfect accuracy, like you, like a defender that ran outside. So again, working that vertical as Deimos. I'm not sure how many kills we get here, but everybody I end up fighting ends up dying, and you're gonna see why. So here, I'm just fighting him through the vert, basically making a little mini game out of this, trying to shoot him through the vertical while my teammates are surrounding them. Really annoying the crap out of them guys in vault. Can't stay still, he's running around now as I'm shooting him, and then a teammate ends up running up <laughs> as he's sprinting around and kills him. So at range, the revolver, super nice. Mozzie spawn killing goes down. We do kill the pulse there as well, with just so a body I'm shot. That guy. <laughs> you can run, so you can't hide. we're spotting a smoke now. You can see a death mark right there. He starts, you clearly see him swinging out here. Free fire, it is so good. Those, that was not a headshot. Body shots, bro. This revolver is insane. So oh yeah, like I said, People are going to say the revolver is OP, but I think the, revol the revolver isn't OP because his primaries are kind of subpar. That's why in most of these clips, you're gonna see me using the revolver because honestly, I tend to lean on the revolver when I'm playing as demos because the AK, is it's an okay gun, but if I wanted to play an AK, I just play another operator. It's not a good gun. It has no optics or anything. And the shotgun is, you know, a shotgun on attack is always, always a little rough to use sometimes. But the revolver is going to be good for everything. And when you are death marking someone, like I, I was death marking smoke, I'm going to have to use the revolver anyways. So it just kind of gives me the option of not having to swap weapons around too much. We see the dock. I have a shotgun here. I swing up. And we find him, shoot him in the back. So here, Ella runs in full speed. <laughs> we just beam her in the chest with the revolver. <laughs> Now for a more advanced demos clip on really talking about like how to really effectively use this because remember there are multiple enemies on the map. It's not just you and the person you're marking. I drop down, revolver up. We take one out. 
Now it's a 3v2. I only have Malusi marked and now Cade's up, but I know Malusi's on the main staircase. I'm not sure where Cade is. I'm going after the Mel. I know the Cade just killed my teammate, so I run down to go fight the Mel because the Cade's probably near Khan. Mel's hurt really bad. I throw a grenade because I need to close the distance because I know the Cade is going to be coming behind me. Close the distance, trying to get out of the way of Cade. I know I want to hear him walking down the staircase. I don't hear that happening. So I'm waiting for my death mark to come back. We death mark Malusi again. We're waiting for the swing out. You can run, but you can't. So I try to throw a grenade over, it misses. But I swing from this side. You can see him as he tries to run for his life. So here, I know that one's probably gonna come down the staircase, if any anywhere. So I am watching for the Mel, but I'm also watching for someone that might run down main. I'm gonna take him out. So now we know the Mel was close to the door because he just took a shot at me. And we don't hear feet. Like he's a three arm right here. I'm gonna hear him walk around in the bathroom. So I know for damn sure that he's the left side of this bathroom door. 100% confidence. And there's just not much you can do in that situation. That He swings out. I don't even need to go for a headshot. When I'm that close, I'm going for body shots because if you crouch, I'm gonna hit you in the head anyways. And if, if you're standing, all I have to do is hit you twice and, you're, and no matter who you are, you will die. All right, here's the final clip of the day. China's mark Solus, she runs up, so death mark fails because I killed her. The best thing I love about this revolver is there's a ton of soft destruction. Look at this. Punch through the wall instantly with a single shot. Giving me line of sight instantly on the on the mute. He couldn't do much there. And the trade. So here is me countering a Deimos player. I do want to talk about this because this is going to happen a lot to people. So I'm being targeted by Deimos. I'm not afraid. I you know. Too often people will rely way too much on, you know, their marks. So therefore, you know, you can't defend yourself. I see a shadow. I know he's to my left. I see the mark. I know he's to my left. I was pre-firing. So if he ever swings right, I'll kill him. I have 50 bullets still in the mag. So I swing out aggressively, even if he can see me coming. The only real way to fight Deimos is to pre-fire because he has a constant ping on you. If you are not pre-firing, he's probably going to kill you. With one shot as a revolver, look at my health bar. If he shot me one more time there, I'm definitely dead. Deimos again. This time I'm using something else. I'm out of revolver shots. Not a big deal. I have the shotgun in his backup. Ba-boom. Guy thought he had a nitro. He'd barb. <laughs> Even if he had a nitro, would it not have mattered there? So using my util, I throw a grenade at the mozzie, forces him to move, and we run in and take him out just like that. So now I'm getting spotted by Deimos again. Running down the hallway, you hear him sprinting full speed using your audio and based off where his last ping was. I know he's coming, and we do hit him with the pre fire. It's a little buggy there, but. It is very hard to fight the demos because even there, like, I know he's coming. I, I see the red mark, I hear the audio. He still takes me down to 32 health just from a single shot. If it's a slightly better player, if, if I'm not pre fighting earlier, you may die. So you do need to be careful. One thing to be aware of though, guys, is that when Deimos does death mark someone, it, that ping will only show to him and not to anybody else. The, the enemy team will be able to see that you are death marking one of their teammates. It'll have an indicator over their, over their like avatar that they're getting death marked, but the attackers won't be able to tell where the ping is at. So unless Deimos is very vocal and very active with like, you know, calling that out, nobody else will know that that person is getting death marked because you won't be able to tell. All right, that is it today on how to play as Deimos. Deimos is actually a very fun operator. He is very powerful in isolating those 1v1 engagements. He's going to have the advantage when you do ping somebody. He is very strong in those 1v1 engagements. Just be careful when you do use him that there's not a bunch of enemies around because the enemy team is going to have, you know, they're going to know that Deimos is tracking someone. So they can kind of use him as bait to like kind of flush out Deimos. Because a lot of people will be sprint. Demos players are going to be sprinting at the guy they mark and not really paying attention to everybody else. So just keep that in mind that uh, it is not un an unbeatable ability. But that's Demos. Demos is really fun, really good. Honestly, one of the best operators I've played on attack in a while. 
because it's just so much fun. It might, might not be the best operator in the game, but it's probably one of the most fun operators I've had in years on, on attack. So give it a try. And make sure to comment, subscribe, and leave a like down below for more. Peace out. Until next time.